again everyone this is David Hirsch with another word on the Lost Highway and I'm here beside a beautiful beautiful site just some gorgeous tranquil waters here in the Shenandoah Valley uh, surrounded by some beautiful fields and farmhouses and just just a just a gorgeous spring day that God has given us and uh, I felt led by the Spirit of God to share with you today uh, something from the 23rd Psalm you know lately in our ministry we've had a couple of funerals here lately and uh, it's true that there are friends and family members that from time to time you know they get into the valley of the shadow of death uh, in, with one situation uh, they knew uh, that their loved one uh, was dying that his wife was dying and with the other one there was just uh, uh, one of the moms of one of our members and uh, there was a lot of medical attention and of course always holding out for hope but the Lord decided to take her as well and you know I see something amazing in the midst of these circumstances and it is the truth of God's word where he says that in the valley of the shadow of death not only can, not only we not only will we not fear evil that we will not fear evil meaning the tormenting thoughts of of darkness and hell and death and all of those things because God's perfect love has freed us from that but that he leads us the Spirit of God leads us beside the scripture says still waters in green pastures he maketh us to lie down in these places so we see that there is a rest there is a tranquility that God gives us and maybe in your life uh, you may be dealing with the loss of a loved one uh, or potentially a loved one uh, where the Lord is about to take that loved one home or maybe there's been something recent I just want to share with you that the power of the Holy Spirit my friend is real this is not just something that is coming from the clever imaginations of men I'm speaking by the Spirit of God according to his word that the Holy Spirit God's Spirit God's Spirit comes and comforts us and he brings us to a place of rest a place where our spirit and our soul are fed and we receive that which is strengthening and that which is good for us we we drink of him our thirst in those circumstances are satisfied our hunger whether we may be aware of what that hunger might be or not the hunger for peace of mind stillness of spirit calming of our nerves uh, or even some of the things that take place in the realm of the loss of a loved one relatives coming in uh, where there's been contention or bitterness or unforgiveness over the years listen God wants to bring beauty out of the ashes of that circumstance we need to be sensitive to his Holy Spirit if he leads us beside tranquil waters like we see here and green pastures what does that mean that means that we lie down there that we're able to meditate on these things that we're free from the cares of this life the rush and hustle and bustle of this world we can lay down in a quiet place in a peaceful place in his presence and let him speak to us not only to comfort us which of course is one of the main necessities in the realm of the loss of a loved one or a sick loved one or a heavy situation comfort is vital but also to hear his holy word concerning how would he have us to demonstrate love to loved ones or maybe bring forgiveness uh, to a loved one that there, where there's been division or contention over the years perhaps just a measure of grace even uh, speaking to somebody concerning the power of salvation through the shed blood of Jesus Christ knowing that our loved one is on their way to heaven because of the price that Jesus paid all of this is available as he guides us and leads us beside still waters causes us to lie down beside green pastures let the Lord comfort you today I don't know what your circumstance may be but I do know that God loves you I know that God wants to minister to you I know that it's not a coincidence that you're watching this video wherever you may be here in America some other part of the world I know that the Holy Spirit wants you to know that he is there for you and he can give you the grace the maturity the strength the wisdom and the words the articulation to bring the necessary words of peace to loved ones and also to let the Lord minister peace to you well 
God bless you. We love you so much. We pray for you daily. Please keep us in prayer. Check out our radio ministry on B101.5. If you're in that area, the Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia area. And please keep our new album in prayer. My band, The Key of David, is on its final track uh, on our album, A Different Dream, uh, featuring my dear friend Phil Keggy and uh, Matthew Ward and many other mighty pioneers of the Christian music scene. But there's so much more than that. And we're so glad to be co-laboring to bring music that has an anointing on it, a genuine anointing. Speaking the things of God, this album is dripping with ministry, touching many topics, even topics that many people don't even want to go near. But we're willing to do it because we're not in it for finances. Uh, You've noticed all of my videos. I don't think I've ever once asked for money or donations or any of that. We want to bring the Jesus from the Bible not the Jesus that America has been portraying. Sadly, the Holy Spirit has been misrepresented in many ways, but that's not going to happen in our ministry. And I'm looking for this forward. I'm looking forward to the album being released so that you can be blessed. And I'll let you know when the time comes. Go to GodsLoveNeverFails.com and uh, let the Holy Spirit minister to you. Maybe you could leave a comment or a question uh, or even a topic that I can use for our radio ministry. Anyway, we love you very much. God bless you. Coming from the Shenandoah Valley, this this is David Hirsch saying, always remember, God's love never fails. God bless you, my friends. Have a great day in the Lord.